Hey everyone, I'm here at the Zenith booth at SHOT Show 2018. Um, you guys have seen C5Ps across my channel, the Hostio SMC's channel. Um, I, a bunch of my friends have them, they love them. That's kind of your guys' probably main product line right now. So we're going to talk about, the, about that a little bit, but I also want to talk about some of the other stuff they offer in case you may or may not be aware of some of the other products that you guys have. So for example, at the range day, we were shooting some of your 5.56 uh, 5.56 guns, yep. and uh, that's not necessarily something you can find from a lot of other companies that make these style of rifles. No, right? yeah, you're not going to see that a whole lot in the roller delayed market right now. Um, I mean, most everything's saturated with 5.56 anyway, but we want to give somebody kind of a different take on it. So yeah. being a, that it's a roller delayed platform, uh, you're not used to seeing it in 5.56 in the States. Uh, sure. Years ago, yes, but not so much, so we're trying to bring it back. Nice. Uh, a couple of different rifle options, we have our new Z43P rifle. Uh, Z43P rifle SBR, uh, and we have the Z43 pistol. So it's just a couple of different options in 5.56 five, uh, to get, get some guys that may be coming over from the AR into the roller delayed market that uh, don't know much about it, It'll have a similar round to kind of transition them in. Right. I know a lot of people have been, I guess, the AR market's been oversaturated, yeah. so I know some people are looking for. Well, I want to shoot 5.56 still, yeah. but I want to do something else. I'm tired of the AR, I want to try something else. Not to say that I'm at that point, but the HK style, the roller delay blowback system, is a really fun way to kind of break away from the AR style platform. Super. I hate using the term AR platform, but whatever, it happened. Um, to me, I, li I liken it to driving an automatic versus driving a stick shift. Basically. It's a lot more manual, locking that uh, bolt back doing the HK slap down, getting it in a battery, yeah. doing the mag changes. It's just a lot more tactile um, and just, for me, a lot more fun. Um, so again, if you're looking for something different, this is definitely a good way to look. But you guys are now releasing something else in the 5.56 style. Sort right? of that, yeah. Okay, so as of yesterday, uh, here at SHOT Show, day one, we released our first ever 300 blackout conversion. Uh, so we've taken one of our 5.56 uh, rifles uh, in the in the rifle platform, 16 inch barrel, and we transitioned it over to 300 blackout. So we're trying to get those guys that want to run something that sounds like an air rifle when they suppress it. So subsonic 300 blackout, we've got pistol version, SBR version, rifle version, just went live yesterday and they're available right now. Awesome. And again, you guys, if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big fan of 300 blackout, shooting it suppressed and unsuppressed, but really where it shines is the subsonic suppressed stuff. It's just yes. too much fun. So seeing that in like the blowback design, right where you're not having to deal with all that extra gas coming back out and leaking out, causing extra noise, gas in your face. This is a really good alternative for you guys, like you said. Yeah, we Something that it. sounds like an error. We effort. shot it yesterday, uh, just kind of messing around with, with it at range day without letting anyone see it. And it, you can only really hear the action and the rollers locking and unlocking. Yeah. It's, it's super quiet. Yeah, so that's a really cool option too. And you guys are now working on the HK91 style now yep. too, right? We're, so we're moving into 7.62 as well. Uh, so late late 2018, we've got some, some 7.62 stuff coming. Uh, not 100% sure how many different variations we're going to do, but that, that'll be later this year. Awesome. Now, you guys may also know that Zenith was doing a lot of handgun stuff with the TSOS and yep. Gerson and all those, um, but you guys are now just solely focused on yeah. the yeah. roller delay. Solely blowback, right? the roller delays. Uh, it's obviously, I mean, our flagship market is the roller delays. Everyone right. knows us for the roller delays. Everyone wants the roller delays. I mean, everyone loves an MP5. So we, we kind of picked up on that and realized that Instead of trying to focus on so many different uh, kind of niches and, and interests, we're just going to go strictly the roller delays, focus all of our interest and time and, and you know all of our development on that and just see how far we can push it. Yeah, and it's awesome because, again, since then, I see you guys coming out yeah. with a bunch of new stuff yep. to include the 300 Blackout, seeing them going to 308. Um, I'm really liking the direction that things look yep. like they're going in. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see as things progress through 2018 let alone into 2019 and all definitely there. Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, just really quickly, uh, we're, I know everyone's been asking for the 53, everyone's been asking for the SD. Uh, I'm not gonna say yes right now, but we're trying, <laughs> I promise. So, again, okay, kind of speaking of the MP5 that everyone wants, kind of your guys' flagship thing, can you just really briefly run us over the Z5P line and what, what it is about it that makes it so fun? Yeah, so actually this is uh, one of our later models that we just put out. This is our Pistolman. It's uh, made off of the Z5 RS platform. Uh, a lot of the guys, like you said, we want to transition those dudes from AR back over to roller delay, let, kind of bring them into it, see what it's like. So went with the M4 style brace, you know, same kind of Picatinny uh, top mount that you're going to find on some ARs, low profile, 
Uh, we want to do the, you know, like the M lock and get everybody that's feelings that they're used to on a platform that they might not be used to. Sure. So you're just easing those guys into it. Uh, so we're modernizing the roller delay, basically. Awesome. And does it include the optic now, at least on some models? Everything you see right here comes with it, as well as three magazines, a uh, hard carry case. Uh, you're also going to get a cleaning kit. Uh, you can opt for a covert carry bag, three magazine pouches. Like We, we sell these basically, uh, if you've seen Springfield's range pack, uh, we sell these basically that same thing. Awesome. And you guys also have options with the folding braces, correct? Yeah, we do the folding braces as well. Uh, so we have that version here, we're working with SP Tactical on that, uh, and of course our Midwest Industries rail. Uh, you can get these both with the rail, without, with the stock, without. You can pretty pretty much build it however you want it. Uh, so if you, if you don't want this, you don't want this, switch it around, we have a SKU for you. Yeah, and I mean, me personally, one of the things that I like about, say, the pistol caliber carbines or pistols is the idea of having something I can throw in a backpack, nice and compact like this, pull this out of a backpack, throw this thing down, and you're ready to, to have some fun. Um, MP5s, they're just fun. They are like just said, super fun. The, the whole, again, using the, the HK slap and all that is just, again, more tactile and a lot more fun, especially for you guys we just like to plink around on the range. Um, so if people want to know more about the Zenith product yep. line, where can they look? Uh, so you go to zenithfirearms.com. You can check us out on social media. It's just Zenith Firearms, uh, Instagram, at Zenith Firearms. Uh, we're also on uh, on Twitter. We're just now kind of getting into that. So I'm not very good at Twitter. We'll, yeah, Twitter's, we're out there, I promise. Twitter's a cesspool, and there's yeah, just like a lot of been, ignorance on there. So I've been avoiding out. it. Yeah. I, I have one just so I can reserve the name, but that's about it. Basically. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, thank you very much for Absolutely. talking to us, thank Ryan. Yeah. Um, I'll have the link below to their website as well as their social media pages, including Twitter, I guess, I, if I have to. Um, <laughs> but we're obviously going to be doing a lot more coverage here from Shot Show 20, uh, 2018, almost 17. Um, so keep tuned for those videos as they come out. Check out Zenith Firearms. But as always, I hope you got something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching. Thanks, guys.